you are an eligible bachelor out there if you follow the sunnah. If you're on your deen, if you are young on your deen, you're an eligible bachelor. Have some pride in yourself. Because if they don't fear violating Allah, then they don't fear violating you. You think this dude would ever break our heart? Come on. You think this dude would ever break our heart? He fears Allah too much. You dated people who didn't fear Allah, hence they broke your heart. Henna? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. There's many women who do not wear hijab, but they are praying, they have everything online, but they're just waiting for the extra push. I would love to be that push. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to another episode, another show. The SQ Late Night Show, Post Fudger Show, call it what you want. But we're here to talk about some stuff, guys. I just want to say that Sana Khan literally just gave hope to all the Qadis out there, all the Hafiz out there, all the religious, the people who sacrificed their youth for the sake of Allah out there, that if you put Allah first, Allah is going to grant you a beautiful spouse in this dunya and in the Akhirah. This is the end of the video. I don't even have to continue more. That's what she just did right now. When you think of a movie star, a Hollywood star, a Bollywood star, big boss, you know, that's a big deal. You date who? People or who also may be in the industry. When a person sees what's really out there, they know what another person has. What that brother has that this sister's married, she knows is available nowhere else. Take that. You know, most eligible, uh, eligible bachelor out there. Take that. What, what eligible bachelor out there? You are an eligible bachelor if you follow the sunnah. Remember that. You are an eligible bachelor out there if you follow the sunnah. If you're on your deen, if you are young on your deen, you're an eligible bachelor. Have some pride in yourself. Don't think of yourself as some laloon. No. Look how Allah honored him. Honored him. Right? In this dunya, and like, now let me hold you a second. Allah has honored her too. Got her on the path of Islam. A lot of us out there, not me, <laughs> you know, not me. A lot of us, when I say that, I just try to be inclusive to act like, you know, I'm with you. I'm not with you on that one. Some people out there try to play her. Oh, too much makeup and skill. Oh, da, 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 hijab. This is my hair. She's wearing a. B -b 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 Slow down, bro. Slow down. A lot of times we project our own insecurities onto others. That's all it is. We're projecting our own insecurities onto others. If you guys understood what I had to do. Hey, listen. I bought a new mic. Huh? Some of y'all real ones out there already knows like SQ is the white one. Mm, I'm the dark knight. I'm the dark knight. So I got to have the dark knight version. Okay. I bought a second mic. Thanks to, to all the Patreons out there. Thank you, Patreons. Okay. So this is what I'm sitting on. My it's, It rained. I don't know if you could tell. It rained. So I had to put a towel and sit out here. But my, my pants just got wet a little bit. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. Pray that you guys are well. By the way, how are you guys doing? Are you okay? How's your iman? Is everything? Can can your brother ask you do anything for you? How can I help you? How can I serve you? Don't 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 be a patreon. How can I serve you for free? Don't be a patreon. Don't support the dawah. It's okay. Allah supporting the dawah. Don't support it. Allah supporting it. It's fine. How can I serve you? What can I do for you? Yeah? If you think about it, tell me in the comment section about what I could do for you. Let's get back to this topic. A lot of you, I'd be like, SQ, you just go off topic, off tangent. Okay. That's me. That's what I do. Like, you're not like them. That's them. I'm me. Oh, SQ, do it like that person does. But that's them. I'm me. Come on. We can't box each other in. Stop trying to think. You know, anyways. Man, I'm so proud of him, man. I'm so proud of him. He's given hope to all those, you know, youth out there. Like, Bachara, he looks like such a good brother, though. Look at the nur on his face, too. Mashallah. And he's not just following, like, the sunnah. Like, come on. He's not just following the sunnah of the mustache. Like, with you keep it a little trim. The messenger saw something you could keep it light, lightly trimmed. Like, maybe I have it. He has it fully shaved. Do you know that's a different level? Do you understand that's a different level? When you shave your mustache, that's a different level. I'm not even at that level. MashaAllah, my man, Mufti. Mufti Anas, bro. 
please. I want to listen to some lectures from Mufti Anis right now. Show me some. Give me some suggested ones in the comment section. I want to hear some from, from, from him, bro. Mufti Mank move over. Even my, so how I found out about this, my wife told me about this. And she was just like, wow, even Mufti Mank uh, wish uh, Sana Khan uh, congratulations on her, her wedding. I'm like, what are you talking about? Sana Khan? And then, you know, like I'm like, who did she marry? And it's just this beautiful brother. Beautiful brother. But the reality is he's not a model. You know what I mean? He's not a model type. Like, he, you could tell that he's just a good brother. Just a good brother that you'd want to hang out with, have some golgape with. Chala, yaar. Let's have some golgape together. My man will finish leading the salam. Be like, chala, my treat. Earn some hasanat that way. Give you a good lecture, a good talk, a good reminder. He looks like the type of brother you just want to be around all the time. No wonder she married him. Come on! May Allah bless your marriage. I don't know if this sister is going to watch or Mufti Anas you're going to watch this. But if you do, and even if you don't do, Allah has heard this. The angels has taken it to Allah. Doesn't that matter more? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Allah has heard it. The angels are able to sincere. May Allah bless your marriage. And everyone out there who's struggling to perhaps get married, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope, man. That's like, and look how Allah has honored her. She went from a lifestyle that was completely on one extreme. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala slowly gravitated her to back. You guys just wanted to... No. Have you ever tried to do something really quick? You might pull a muscle. Allah doesn't want her or anyone to pull spiritual muscles. Put that in a script. Let's go. Quote me. Come on now. I'll ask you you become arrogant. Maybe I have. Maybe since I had this dark night in my condition, I've become a little arrogant. Well, that's my swagger. I got a miswak stick in my mouth because it is what it is. That's what I do. There's no kufi on my head though. Let me fix that right now. Hold on. That's what I'm missing. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I need that kufi. Get out of my way, Billy. Get out of my way, Billy. Give me my kufi. Give me my kufi. Give me my kufi. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, I mean, like, that's key. just goes off on tangents. I do. Because I do it. If y'all don't want to watch it, don't watch it, man. If y'all clicked out already, you clicked out already. It's okay. No hard feelings. I still love you. Mm, this kufi, bro. This kufi just be. Oh, God. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Man, subhanallah. May Allah bless their marriage, though, for real, for real. Yeah, I think that this is cap. Like, no. I'm really serious. Like, may Allah bless their marriage. I'm happy for them. May Allah increase them. You know, Allah's honored her. Oh, but all the brothers out there. And I caught. Quote me, son. Quote me before all these people start coming out acting like, oh, they're so positive and this and that, bro. I was on Ali Dawa's show, whatever it was, it was called. It was called something, uh, the Slams Table or something like that. May Allah bless the brothers in the UK. And I said something crazy. People looked at me crazy. People looked at me crazy. Dopey's on my head. Let's go. People looked at me crazy. It was me, Ali Brother Musa, Brother Muhammad Hijab. I'm going to play the clip, and let me set the clip up for you. We're talking about marriage as usual. That's what happens when dudes is together. They talk about marriages. All right. Something happens about types of women, this and that. And I made a comment. Like, if I were marrying a woman, a hijab wouldn't be the most important thing to me. Like, I would take a woman who prays five times a day doesn't wear the hijab versus a woman who wears the hijab but doesn't pray, pray five times a day. And that, they were like, wow, mashallah, I even posted it. Some people were like, eh, this and that. Because you know why? We got to give people a chance. How do we expect people with, you know, those who might be struggling to the deen? Have you ever thought when Allah says completing the half of the deen that maybe they need a brother who's good? Of course they're having bad relationships with men. They just keep dating trash. And Sana Khan probably dated some trash. Sorry, sister. No disrespect to you. But she knows it. She's dated some trash heartbreak. You think this dude would ever break her heart? Come on. You think this dude would ever break her heart? He fears Allah too much. You dated people who didn't fear Allah. Hence, they broke your heart. Hannah? Yeah, it is true. Don't date anyone, period. But don't date anyone who doesn't fear Allah. Don't, don't do it. Because if they don't fear violating Allah, then they don't fear violating you. Just drop in gems. This is the SQ show. Sucks for those who left, doesn't it? Sucks for them. That's my cat right there. Should I bring my cat out? No, it's too dangerous out here. It's a dangerous word. I'm sheltering her. Because it's a scary world out here, sweetheart. Scary world out here. I'm sheltering her. We've sheltered people all our lives. 
happy for them. You know, I'm happy for them. People just like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, people quote this verse of the Quran so out of context that, you know, like something of the nature of please forgive me and correct me in the comment section below. Correct me in the comment section below. I'm not perfect. Yeah, I saw that video with uh, right over here with the uh, oh, hi, Christian. Uh, SQ, you were so rude. You were so arrogant. I know I said it. I acknowledge it already. I was. Do you know what it's like to have no intention to have a conversation with someone? You're going there to spread some cheer, hold some video about iPads, and then, then a heckler. That's okay. Allah's honored me. You want to you wanna try to judge me? You weren't even there. I was there. And, and all the angels that was with me was there, son. When a heckler, I get heckled, no one wants to address that. Who's going to stand up for Brother SQ's honor, huh? I'm out there trying to stand up for Islam's honor. And you know who is? Allah is. Allah is going to honor me, bro. I don't need none of this. Don't give me a subscribe. Don't give me a thumbs up. Allah is going to honor me. I don't need nothing from you guys. Patreon, unpatreon. <laughs> unpatreon. I don't need nothing. I got Allah. That's it. I got Allah. You got Allah. You don't need no one. Nothing. Going back to the Ali Dawa stuff, right? I was on the show. And I said that. I'm, 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 I probably played the clip by now. I'm not sure where I am with this right now. But, you know what I mean? I, I said, that, I was like, yo, I would marry someone. People looked at me sideways. Like, oh, really? Yes. Two things I actually wanted to say, right? We mentioned something about what we want in a woman. Now, and this is interesting. When I was looking for, we're trying to get married originally, right? Yeah. One thing that's not important to me, and I think this may shock you, may not, is wearing the hijab. I don't think that's important to me. Not that they will never wear it, but we were talking about the inner hair, mm -hmm. right? Because a hijab is a reflection of your obedience to Allah. There's so many women who okay. wear hijab, but they're not praying, they're not doing stuff like that. And I would rather a woman who perhaps is not praying right now, or perhaps, you know, there's many women who do not wear hijab, but they are praying, they have everything online, but they're just waiting for the extra push. I would love to be that push. I would love to be that project where I'm trying to help someone out. Okay. I don't mind okay. that. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. But to never wear it, obviously not. But what I'm saying is like, you know, I feel like they need a chance as well. Okay. And I wouldn't mind that. Look at this uh, Mufti. He knows, oh, brother, uh, she's, uh, brother, you're going to marry virgin. You're going to marry younger. You're going to marry, uh, you can't marry. Vir what? Brother. And what did brother Mufti see in this sister? Probably beauty. This? No. This. 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 He loves her. He loves her. You could tell. You could just tell. And may Allah increase and uh, protect you from evil eye. And iron and hasad and jealousy and all that sort of stuff. All that sort of stuff. Ameen. Ameen. And may, 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 may your marriage be the coolness to each other's eyes. And may Allah make it prosperous. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow you guys to, you know, uh, get old and grow old together with love and harmony. And grant you both uh, pious offspring. Ameen. Who are the coolness of your eyes. And your grandchildren. Who are going to be uh, who who will earn sadaqa for you for uh, sadaqa jariya for you and goodness for on your behalf and their offspring and their offspring and their offspring and their offspring all the way to the end uh, uh, end of times to yom qiyamah amin may may you guys be the lineage that is positive for this world when this world is just nothing left honestly i'm happy for you guys i'm happy for all those who find us uh, find their other half bro Find your other half. You got to download a, 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 a Muslim marriage app, all right? You might have to download one. You might have to, but do it correctly. Sit with your mom. Sit with your dad. Don't just try to be on it like it's Instagram and just look at chicks, you know, and just mess around with people. That's what happens. You're not even committed to actually being married, but you're on these apps. That's, that's, that's a problem. It doesn't make the, the app system bad or, or how it's presented, though you can obviously improve that. It shows our nature that when no one's watching, our, taq our taqwa is, li is lifted. It's, we're not conscious of Allah. We need to fix that. We need to fix that. And one of the ways to fix it, if you are using a, a, a marriage app, ask you, do you recommend any? Yes and no, right? I, I, I made a video which I'm going to release tomorrow, inshallah, about uh, the Salam's uh, marriage app, which I reviewed and I signed up my friend for it. You can see it. I hope you guys enjoy that video. Uh, download the app if it's beneficial for you or don't. I don't really care, to be honest with you. You know, like I wanted to show you that this is one of the methods that you can, but it has to be done in a correct manner. If you're a sister and you want, if you want to find a spouse for yourself or your parents, why are we always assuming it's kids' parents? 
parents want to find a spouse for their kids, you can use it too. Use it. You know, take it, sit with your children, ask them for out their profile, build a profile with them, talk to them together. Like what is what, what kind of person you're looking for? So no one's no one's time is being wasted. And maybe you spend an hour a week or something, a time dedicated allocation with your children. You go through the app, you browse through the app, browse through it together. And you're like, no, 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 okay, whatever. Yeah. You just you do it together. Any messages come to you directly, parent. It doesn't go to them. You know, you trust your children. You trust yourself. You trust Allah. You know what I mean? Same thing that goes with, bro- you know, with brothers. Go to your mom. How about do it with her? You know what I mean? Do it with your mom. Sit with your dad. Sit with them together. Sit with your, both your parents. And it's not just the dad's job or the mom's job. It's, it's, just, it's a parental unit job. You guys are units, you know? I think about this. My girl, my, my daughter turns five in child in April. I was telling my wife that, yo, one day she's just going to go to university. She's going to be getting married. It's just going to happen. If Allah gives us life, you know, this is not promised. I'd be thinking, bro, like, I could, I could die in a week. And, and all the good is going to stop. I'm afraid of that. But this is the deen of Allah. It's never going to stop. Someone else is going to take my spot. And I want to inspire one of you to take my spot. I don't want this spot. I want to share with you guys. I don't want it for myself. I, I want to share with you guys. Come out to Times Square with me. Give our Qurans. Come join the social experiment with me. Come. Come. Come out, man. Youth out there, come ask permission from your parents. Bring your parents out too. Let them see it. Let them see it. It's cool. It's cool to do, man. Just do it. Come out. Be proud of your religion. Be proud of your identity. I used to run away from this. <laughs> I remember the first time I went to uh, 42nd Street. It was because Toys R Us opened. Went all by myself. I was like 12 or 13 years old. I can't remember. All by myself. All in my own thoughts. It was a new world to me. It was the peak of 9-11. I wanted nothing to do with Islam. Now I'm at that same place. Same place. In front of that same store. Giving dawah in front of there. That was What? 20 years ago, maybe, under 20 years ago, 18 years ago, look how Allah has honored us. Us, not me. Not me, Islam. Allah's honoring Islam. That same place that was afraid to be called a Muslim is now I'm, I'm a Muslim. I want to have a jama'ah in, in, in Times Square. Come, let's make one. Let's do it together. This is our deen. It's, it's, it's not mine, it doesn't belong to me. It's ours, it's collective. We're all investors in this. We're investors in this. This is our deen. Yes, Q Banda. The comment section is flooding right now. SQ. Oh, will you speak with SQ? You're in Pakistan. You're in Indian SQ. Where are you from? Who cares? <laughs> I'm Pakistani, by the way. <laughs> uh, imagine I become like really, really close family friends with Sadan Khan and Brother Mufti. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so dope, wouldn't it be? Yeah, I would burn. Some of y'all would burn. Some of y'all would be hyped for the vlogs. Some of y'all would be hyped for the vlogs. Some of y'all would burn. And the ones who burn, they're the ones who probably clicked out. And the ones who love it, they're still here. I love you guys. Honest to God, I love you guys. You never know what you're going to get on the SQ show. You just don't know. Post Fudger, late night, early morning. It's somewhere. It's somewhere night in the world right now. You're watching this. Some of y'all watch it at 3 a.m. Pause the video. Go use, uh, 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 offer two units of prayer. Go offer two units of prayer. Make fresh wudu. When you make wudu, the sins fall off of you. Son, they fall off of you. Fall off of you. Fall off of you. Fall off of you. They're off of you. They fall off you. Your sins, the sins that you committed that day just fall off you. And, and you pray two units of prayer. Let's suppose you're not at that level. That's good. It's cold. I'm in a warm, cozy bed. You woke up. Ever happened to you? You wake up in the middle of the night. Toss and turn. Sometimes you just wake up. You just anki kuljati. You know, you're just up. And it's like two in the morning or three. Right? You fell asleep, but you woke up. And you have energy all of a sudden, but you close your eyes and go to sleep. Instead, get up and make a sujood. Just make a sajda in the Qibla direction, not in some other. Don't be sleeping into it, right? Make a sujood. Make a sajda. And just thank Allah for shukr. Just, just thank Allah. Ask, for, ask Allah to forgive you. Thank Allah. One minute. And then get back in bed. No one knew. Between you and Allah. What a secret. What a secret. Allah's listening to you. He listens to us always. But everyone's asleep. 
Like imagine there's a, like a board, a circuit board, right? <laughs> imagine there's a circuit board. All dark spots. And there's a light that just flashes on the circuit board. And you zoom into that light. It's you making the sajda. Imagine that. Imagine how bright you illuminate the other areas of the world too. Your sajda. Allah doesn't need it. You need it. It illuminates your heart. It puts that nur on your face. You don't need... SQ, you've been looking young. SQ, mashallah. SQ, you got a, some facial skin routine? Yes, I do. It's the nur. I need to make nur creams. That's what I need to make. Mmm, nur creams. I, for real, I, I do need a skin routine. I got some blackheads and some pores and stuff. I got to take. I'll be breaking out too, y'all. I'll be breaking out too. Don't think that this is, you know, you know, beauty is a, 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 a curse that Allah has blessed me with. You're like, okay, anyways. SQ, you've gotten so arrogant. That was so cringe, SQ. All right, and you're still here, though. That means you love me, and I love you, too. But may Allah increase them and all those who are struggling to get married. Make it easy for them. Stop having your standards so high. Stop it. Stop having your standards so high. Oh, they need to have this, 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 this. No, they don't. They need to have Iman. What did the Messenger Sallallahu teach us? What does he teach us about picking a spouse? What is the number one thing that we should be looking for? Their spirituality, their character. Number one thing. Number one thing. You can look for the other things. And if they have the other things, it's just the cherry on top. It's like those thousand, uh, you know, those uh, hundreds and thousands, I think they call it in the UK, we call it sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles or something. You know, it's the sprinkling. Or it's the gravy. It's the icing on the cake. But the number one priority is character, spirituality, is deen. It's deen. Man, I love you all for the sake of Allah. If you haven't realized that or felt that or know that, I do. I genuinely, I love you all for the sake of Allah. And um, let me know how I can serve you guys a little better. And uh, the Messenger also obviously explains to us that if a person comes to you, your daughter, your, your child, with good character, get them married. Get them married. Get them married. You understand you're making the world a better place, right? You're getting people with character married. They're going to have children, raise children with character. The world becomes a better place. What did the Messenger Sallallahu say? The opposite is true. There will be fitna, facade on the world. If, if, if people are rejecting good, good, uh, you know, uh, spouses and, 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 and relationship opportunities. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not a mufti. That's Mufti Anas. He's married Sana Khan. MashaAllah, Sister Sana Khan, of course. Sorry, Sana Khan. Sister Sana Khan, obviously. I'm so sorry. And I'm so sorry, Sister, if... if I don't, Hey, maybe they are watching this. I'm sorry, Sister, if I, I posted a picture that was inappropriate of you last time. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That wasn't my, my intention. She might be like, no, I never see no picture. Let me go see. Unsubscribe right now. I liked you until this moment, SQ. Or maybe she's smiling. Maybe her husband's smiling. Maybe they're smiling for the sake of Allah. Maybe this is my sadaqah to them. Maybe this is my sadaqah to the world. To the world. Giving out Qur'ans, that's my sadaqah to the world. When I die, someone's going to have a Qur'an. Do you know that we did the Apple Watch social experiment? The Qur'an, Apple Watch. So let me tell you what it was about, basically, okay? I, and, and the reason I picked the Apple Watch social experiment, right? So I went up to strangers and they listened to Quran for the first time. That's not the first time I've done it. I've done it with the AirPods social experiment. Go watch this one if you haven't seen it already. And I just, li I just played a surah, right? I played a, a surah Fatiha. This time, I wanted to play a surah with the meaning behind it, right? Obviously, it all had meaning, but like something I could connect. And I picked Surah Al-Asr, right? And after they were finished reading Surah Al-Asr, I gave them the tafsir of Surah Al-Asr. Okay, and then if they won it, obviously they win an Apple Watch. So the watch is connected with the time of Surah Al Asr. Did that do it for you? No. Okay, maybe it didn't do it for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I could have won you over there. Okay, never mind. SQ, you're so clever. Oh no, no, no. But you know what happened? This is the craziest part. This is the best part about it, right? Two people accepted Islam, right? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And who else? Maybe in the future, I don't know. Alhamdulillah. Man, may Allah increase them. Two people accepted Islam, and we gave out more Qur'ans than we did Apple Watches. Ain't that something? At the end, we had one Apple Watch left and no Qur'ans. I ended the social experiment because this Apple Watch is not... Y'all think I'm capping. I hate this, bro. I hate this. Y'all think I'm cap. I'm not like the mothers. Let me drink a sip of mine. Hold on. Listen to some ASMR. Alhamdulillah. 
had some coffee, ASMR experience. By now, you've probably already read the title. Not the title, excuse me. The timestamps. What's up, Tony? You good? How's that remote teaching t uh, treating you? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Alhamdulillah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Isn't it a blessing? Yes, we do it. Uh, oh, I'm, I was recording a video. Oh. Yeah, I was recording. It's my mic. I was recording a video uh, back back in the deck. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What you been up to? You should try to while let's go. You know what? I yeah, I know this might sound arrogant of me, man, but I just like holding a mic. It makes me look important when I know I'm not. Actually, it just it, it, it helps. Like for me, when I when yeah. minister, I have to stand. Yeah. It's a physical thing, but it makes you more comfortable. Stop it. You know? Yeah. It does, it does, right? I like standing. Yeah. I like standing. Sometimes sitting is good, but I like holding the mic. I don't, I don't like uh, having it still. So sometimes at that mosque that I speak at, I, like they have the stand so you can sit down and it's just in front of you, like wireless. But I like pulling it out and just like holding it down. It's fun. That's fun. Thank you, man. How's everything else though with you, Tony? All right, all right. I think I'm capping. So I have the one that clips here. Okay. Okay, and it just connects to the microphone to the thing. Oh, that's wonderful. Tony is my Christian pastor neighbor. And we've had conversations about Islam and Christianity multiple times. And you might ask you, did you get the watch? No, I didn't. Oh, SQ, I knew he was a liar. I knew you're a liar, SQ. Oh, SQ. Oh, SQ, I knew it. Oh man, oh, it's cute. Oh, this guy's just doing it for clout. He's just doing it. He's just doing it for clout. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I perceive those who just say wild things to me. <laughs> oh, you bug it, I found it. Here you go. We have one left. We have one left. We had one left, and we re I realized that, yo, straight up, this isn't the prize. The Quran is the price. So I ended the social experiment because I ran out of Quran. So you guys, if you would like to sponsor Quran, a lot of you have been blowing it up. You have no idea how incredibly honored and not humbled, but I feel so worthless. And let me tell you why. Because I'm a nobody. And within 48 hours, y'all have raised enough for nearly 7,500 Qurans. Over. In less than 48 hours. Like... Oh, I just need to go make such that right now. Okay, I love you all for the sake of Allah. I hope I hope all those who are struggling to get married find marriage and all that good stuff happens to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the SQ Show. Uh, yeah, I need to uh, give this a name. If this is really going to be an SQ post show or something like that, give it a name in the comment section below. Uh, and if I do actually like your name and I take it, or maybe I make this into a podcast, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little commission. I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of love if you get what I mean. Wink, wink. Okay, I uh, love you all for the sake of Allah. And uh, I'm not going to say check out some of my other videos because if you made it this far, uh, you're either a real one, right? You all are real ones, but you're a real one who's seen everything before or you're just going on a rabbit hole binge watch of my content and YouTube algorithm, I'm just surfing it right now. Alhamdulillah. May Allah increase us, bless us, guide us all, allow us to surf straight to the top to Jannah. It's your boy, Shu, and I am out. Until next time. I said that was all crazy. What, what was that? What was that? What was this happened? The Holy Ghost in you? Oh, that's cute. Just spoke to the pastor. The Holy Ghost. No. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>